What's up guys, Jared here, Paintbrush Samurai. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about why I think that we should not go through life the natural way. Alright, now what do I mean by that? I don't mean that we should just start injecting hormones and like doing crazy drugs and you know, not being healthy or not eating natural or something like that. What I mean by the natural way is if you look online for a lot of solutions to have energy or to become better at weightlifting or you know whatever it is you're trying to do a lot of the solutions are offered by people who say that you should just go along the natural path and that your body knows what it wants what it needs what you should eat all right your diet is it shouldn't be based on this or that it should just be based on what your body wants what whatever you feel like right that's the best diet right don't don't count calories right don't don't track your sleep progress you know and uh, one of the biggest reasons this topic even comes up for me is sleep all right anybody who knows me personally knows that I'm like the worst when it comes to sleeping like I'm just absolutely terrible at it I just like sleeping is not a skill that I'm good at all right I don't know why I tend to just like sleep incessant amounts of time like ridiculous amounts of time and I want to be waking up early and have more energy which is what I'm working on right now and once I find the solution believe me I'll be all over sharing that information with you guys all right one of the common solutions unfortunately though is sleep the natural way right just 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 let your body sleep as much as it wants to because your body knows how much rest it needs all right and uh, I have been trying this in fact in a previous video I even mentioned um, not waking up to an alarm clock so I'm sorry for that I'm gonna totally retract that statement all right now quite possibly after getting adjusted to a certain sleep schedule you probably can remove the alarm clock and probably feel a lot better about things but for now I'm gonna go ahead and just directly retract that and say that not having an alarm clock is a bad idea and trying to sleep the natural amount of time is not that working that well for me all right um, I've been doing an okay job at work waking up better this year but I've already had a few instances like today where I totally just slept like times I don't even know like 10 hours plus that's ridiculous that shouldn't happen all right, I do research online. That's not how things are supposed to be. Even if you need to catch up on sleep, maybe you're a little bit behind. You don't sleep 10 hours, okay? I don't wanna sleep the whole day, right? I don't wanna sleep half the day. I don't wanna sleep 40% of the day. I wanna sleep like 20% of the day, all right? Five or six hours, that would be fantastic. Cause I got a lot of stuff to do and I'm getting tired of just sleeping all the time, right? Ironic. Um, so another reason that like I'm really not a fan of this natural thing though in all categories is when you think about your biology and evolution, all right, it would make sense that your natural habits wouldn't be things that lead you to productive high energy lifestyles. But why? That doesn't make any sense. These people tend to be successful. Right, but your body's natural tendency is to preserve energy to survive, not to expend energy and become exhausted and then risk death, right? So for example, we're talking like caveman times and stuff. Yes, there were some successful alpha males who led packs of people who went out and hunted mammoths or whatever, but this was also extremely dangerous and tons of them also died, right? And if you spent all day and you didn't have food and you were out hunting and you failed and you're on your way home and you run into a saber tooth, sorry, your gene pool's cut off, you're like dead, all right? And a really successful strategy would totally be like hanging out with, you know, all the women in like the cave or something and picking fruits or berries and, you know, staying safe and setting up a little protection in your cave, little fortress with some spikes and waiting for some other men to bring home some meat 
and you kind of share this setup establishment you have with them for a small slice of the meat, that's a totally effective strategy for surviving. All right. Now, we live in the modern world. We're not worried about being hunted down by tigers or just like surviving, right? We can just hit up Walmart with a few bucks, get the necessary food to survive, right? But over all this time, our bodies have been biologically programmed. Don't expend too much energy. Always conserve your energy. Always save the energy. Wait for that moment that you might need it. But then we flash forward to today, and we need that energy right now. We want that energy, but our body doesn't want to give it to us because we're not in a life or death situation at this particular moment. All right? I think a far more effective way of approaching your lifestyle is going to be through self-discipline. All right? A little bit of research that I've been doing on self-discipline, though. A lot of people think self-discipline is something that you just, you just have naturally right a lot of people they're just so disciplined I don't get it they keep their room clean they wake up early they do all this shit so disciplined right I don't I don't buy that I don't buy that for anything honestly I don't I don't believe in talent I think it's just a myth I don't believe in abilities I think it's just a myth I think everything can be developed and trained right so this month of February I'm going to be spending a lot of time developing my self-discipline even more Right now, I've already been doing this the first month, but specifically with my sleep habit, I want a more disciplined sleep habit. I'm going to improve and fix it this month, and I'm going to give you guys all the results of it, and hopefully I can develop something that you guys can apply to your life to be able to fix your sleep habit if you're one of those people like me who can just sleep 12 hours, no problem, like doesn't even think about it, all right? My, my brother, all right, dude was in the military. Now he just like wakes up at 5 a.m. And he's like, yeah, no, I just like, I can't not do it, you know? So, Jordan, I'm talking to you, man. I hate you. Totally jealous. All right. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to work on fixing that solution this month. And uh, hopefully you guys work on fixing some things in your life this month. But if not, don't worry, I'm going to do the hard work for you and just relay the results to you and you can see what happens if you implement these into your life. Alright, so today's video, kind of a little bit of everywhere as far as the information, but overall tone is we're no longer going to take a natural approach to our life, guys. No, we're going to attack and do whatever means necessary to accomplish whatever it is we want to accomplish. Alright, no more Mr. Natural Nice Guy, alright? It's all about results. That's all I care about right now. All right. This is Jared, Paintbrush Shamrai.